I just watched the Paw Paw Showcase and in my opinion the fruit is very good but I feel like this is another PvP fruit. I'm sure there are certain moves that can you know, be used in terms of PvE but mainly most of the moves are PvP. So basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna basically go through every move and explain how they can be used and whether they're PvE or not. So the first thing I wanna show is the Paw Cannon. This is a pretty much very similar to a pistol, a Gomu Gomu pistol, in which you send out a ranged, you know, um, basically a projectile of your paw. Now the move is, I'd say, a pretty good, you know, in terms of combo potential in PvP, but in terms of PvE, I guess you could use it, but it seems like to be a very similar to, you know, a light kick with less damage. Uh, it's pretty good, but in general, I see it as a pretty um, weak move and maybe if it had more damage it'd be okay for PvE. In terms of PvP, I guess this would be a pretty good move. So the second move, which is my the most interesting move right here, is the Shock Repel. The Shock Repel basically is a move where I think you can repel someone's damage or repel them when they get close. So I'm not sure whether it's the, you repel them or repel their moves. It's kind of like a, if they hit you this is a counter and uh, you just send it flying away, which is super cool by the way. And the third move we have here is the Rendezvous. The Rendezvous, as I tell, is like a, basically a movie inspired from um, the Valorant uh, character called Agent Chamber, which I made a video on a couple of days ago, or maybe two days ago. And basically this is a teleportation move where you basically the pop, you put a paw on the ground and then you put another paw on the other, on the other another place and then you can teleport in between them and this will allow you to teleport to people like if you put it in front of your enemy you will be able to teleport them and use it move immediately which is exceptional for in terms of pvp because you can surprise people because you put you can you can put a paw behind them and they, if they don't know you can just be behind them by teleporting teleporting you know behind them so this is exceptional for pvp wise and the second we have is the paw bomb which is the red paw when his paw goes red and this is basically just a stronger version of the paw cannon except it's like exploding and the short range, i guess it's good you, yeah actually this is a pretty good pvp pve and pve fruit because if you can use this through walls you can be able to like you know shoot you know be able to hit like from she some enemies with this if it goes through walls that is if it doesn't go through wall then it's kind of it's kind of hard to hit but still you can get in the air and then send some a uh, paw bomb to the ground pretty good pretty good move and the second here we have the paw barrage this is exceptional because this is very similar to part of table kick course and the gomu gomu gatling in which you can go behind the walls in terms of pve you can hit npcs through the walls which will allow you to grind through the early games of gpo and you'll be able to grind through that very easily because the thing is early gpo you have to mostly cease to speed run the progression otherwise you'll be spending a lot of time grinding so which way you use techniques like hitting npcs from walls where they cannot hit you and so this is an exceptional move for that and for the ultimate move we have the ursus shock which is basically his ultimate um kuma you see it here on the screen and basically he collects his all of you know all his um popo and just sends it out in a big explosion and in my eyes this is a good move one thing i don't like though is that you can get hit me while using this which means like if somebody basically they can do free combos on you while you're using the research shock they should give eye frames during the research shock otherwise people can just hit you meanwhile you're doing it and you can just die before you get used let's say somebody with high damage just keeps hitting you meanwhile you're using it you just get knocked immediately it's like yeah then you add eye frames or stun the people around you otherwise you know, the, the, it's, hard, it's going to be hard to use this ultimate. In general, what do I think of the uh, Paul? It's amazing. Will I use it personally? Uh, not really, because I'm not really waiting for Paul. I think the moves are cool, but you know, I'm I'm waiting for a better death right, right now. You know, the moves are cool. Paul is pretty cool. Some people might like it because some people say that's different. different. Uh, a couple of things that are pretty cool about this death I'd say is the teleportation, and as well as you know the ability. To the Ursus Shock is super cool. If only the mid iron frames. It's very similar to, I'd say, the Mera Mera. Like basically the spirit bomb thing the Mera Mera has. It's basically just a spirit bomb, and I feel like iframes should be in it. 
otherwise it's kind of useless because you just get killed before you get to use it. And I mean, you know, there's not really much to be said here, like, the fruit is cool, I mean, hey, what I think about it, I mean, hey man, it looks super cool, but there's not really much to be said, I mean, sugar pill looks cool, and let's say somebody is about to use the ultimate on you, you could just use the, you know, sugar pill on them, and I guess the ultimate gets diminished, which will make this super overpowered for PvP, because somebody uses their ult, now you just repel it, now they have no stamina, and they didn't get their ult off, now they have cooldowns on that, it's like, bruh. So I guess they have to maybe nerf that in the future if it, if it becomes a problem or if it's too easy to land it. Regardless, I've been speaking too long. I like the pop off food. What do you guys think? And that's all I gotta say. And check out my video on where is the update yesterday.